Good day, traders. This is Rich with some price action on the markets. Currently 4.32 p.m. June 3rd, 2021, Thursday. Markets were a little soft today, especially on the NASDAQ. But we had some trades develop anyway. So make sure you subscribe. If you're new, like the video, share the video, and comment on the video. I appreciate that. Hope all everyone's doing well. Having a good week so far. Um, actually, I'm having a pretty good week. I had a pretty good day today. Kept it simple. Um, got off to a really good start on Tilray, and then I'll get into that in a second. But I just continued, kept it, you know, really only, was only taking news trades or something that set up clean. I wasn't forcing anything, and it worked in my favor. So to get into it, you know, we had the Nasdaq down 141, Dow one, or 23, sorry, and 15 on the SPX. So kind of fly on these two. NASDAQ because Tesla got beat up with some news, and we'll get into that too. Amazon down 47 today. Uh, AMC, you know, had the action today of going up to, it was actually 72 or 77 in the pre-markets, and then eventually went all the way down to 39 today at one point. Or I should say, I'm sorry, 37.66 at one point. Went back up to 67 and then closed at 53. So is there anything wrong with this? Yes, there's something wrong with it. It's broken. Um, it's unfortunate that this could cause issues for the overall markets, but I guess it just is what it is. Stocks like Workhorse were squeezing pretty good this morning. Um, but let's get into my trades. I only took a few. Um, I took two trades on Tilray. Uh, one trade on Twitter and like two trades on Tesla and one trade on Boeing. Uh, Boeing was news, popped in, popped out, probably could have gotten 30 bucks out of it, but I was kind of just quick in and out on that one. Tesla, we'll get into that. That was news out of China. I actually got in up here at the 597, 596 area. It was unfortunate because I, whenever I'm in a short trade, I want to get out pretty quick. I don't like to be in the short because then you get a cover and you get a bad fill both ways, and it's just kind of ugly. Um, but it just released. I mean, it just released. I'll, if I had just held five shares from 597 down to 57, I mean, it just was. I think I only went with 50 shares and um, got 56 bucks out of it. It was news out of China, like half the sales or something like that. Something about their sales were half of what they expected or something like that. Um, and it just was continuing down. People started trading the short side on this, um, but nothing really much there. So, I mean, this was a great news trade um, for those. I actually, I actually read it, then I heard it. Then I heard it again, and then I heard it again. So there was just the rotation of it was awesome. It was like boom, 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 boom. So you're just like, oh my, if you're in it, you're holding because you're just hearing it from all directions, and there's nothing stopping this. And you can see this crazy amount of volume on this candle. There's like a million shares on this candle here uh, for five minute candle. That's quite a bit for Tesla. And it just ripped down and then continued. Obviously, this pop up probably would have gotten most people out um, on the squeeze back up. And then it continued to flush down once again. So you can have gotten in it again if you wanted to. But uh, Tesla can rip your face off pretty quick both directions. So I got my piece, small piece, but nonetheless, it was a news trade. Twitter, um, I had it on my other screen, but I don't have it here. It was a news, was a news trade as well. Early on in the morning, um, guy got on the mic in our room saying, Twitter, Twitter. And they announced a $2.99 subscription fee for something on their platform, which is something new for them, and it will probably generate some money for them. But anyway, it ripped up. I got in with two, 300 shares, um, got about, I don't know, half 50 cents to about 80 cents on average for the trade, and made that 122 on it. Um, and that was you know really nice news trade, so that kept me... That was early, and then between those two, or between Twitter and then Tilray, um, things kind of just worked themselves out. I was up pretty good on these two trades. Well, I was up like 3.30 or something like that, and then I just kept myself in check. Wasn't I was avoiding most of the um, noise out there, I should say. But we had this nice run-up early in the morning. The, I was looking for the break here. It was actually, I traded on a two-minute. Give me a second here. Okay, I switched it to a one minute on Tilray. So this one minute candle set up, and it was obviously gapping up from 19, opened at 20, uh, 67, pulled down almost through 20 almost, but didn't. 
And then as it was coming up, I was looking for the break at the 2050 level, took the 2050 level, took out the high a day and just continued up, made a high of 2214. I had a sell at 2205. I was in for 500 shares, um, was just selling all the way up. And obviously if I held 500 shares, for you know a point and a half it would have been you know 750 dollar trade i only got 211 dollars out of it i think i sold 100 pretty quick because it did give me a little flush here on this move i believe because it went through here 66 and then it dropped down so no it never really went against me there was no reason for me to really sell what i sold um, but this is the market conditions we're in i'm going to sell sooner mode um, you know get a little piece which i got the 100 shares off for like let's say 15 20 bucks that's just kind of covered you know, reduced my size, but gave me a little more forward to, to move forward with it and just kind of be aggressive and hold on to it. And then I was just ripping 25, 50 shares at a time. The nice thing about commission free stock trading is that you can just kind of rip things off when you want. Um, I actually set, um, limits way above. So I was just kind of committed and there was a couple sales. I kind of wish I can get back right now, but, um, you know, like 21, when it broke 21, I put it like 2105, it ripped through 21 and went to like 2120 before pulling back. And then 22, I put 2205, which is really nice trade because it only went to 2214. So I almost got the high on that one. Um, and then it kind of, that was the high of the day and it kind of just fizzled after that. Um, so again, you know, 401 on the day. Um, feel good. You know, this is minimal trading. I actually was doing other things today. I missed an AMC trade, I think around lunchtime. There was news about an offering or something. Supposedly it was the best trade news trade of the day, and I missed that one. But that's okay. I don't want to really be trading AMC. I don't know how what I would have done if I traded that, maybe 100 shares. But it did, I mean, AMC, let's see. It did make a nice move uh, here. So it was like 49, probably got around 50. And it ripped up to 57. I guess that could have been a pretty good trade. Um, currently, it's at 50 right now. So, um, yeah, we'll end the week tomorrow. Uh, we got a couple new things going on in my life. But other than that, I'm going to continue trading and trying to continue to move forward and continue with the news. Because make sure you check out the news video I did on Monday uh, on the Memorial Day. Um, pretty good shows some of the trades I've taken in the past few weeks on news and actually got that Twitter one on um, tape, old school people for you on tape. Uh, I recorded that one and I'll probably, anytime I get news, I'll kind of, I condense it and I'll make another video, let's say in five trades or six trades or something like that. So I have something to show you. Um, I, I did not, there were no losing news trades today, which was nice. And we'll focus on positivity going forward. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're new, like the video, share the video, and comments on the video. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm, I'm here. I answer questions. I, I respond to comments. And, you know, if there's anything that's interesting to you outside of trading, let me know. Um, you know, I'm into more things than just trading. So it's funny. Well, I won't discuss that right now. You guys have a good night, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.